Okay, so today we're going to look at this CrackMe, um, CrackMe2Easy.exe. It comes from CrackMe's.de. A user actually submitted it. And it's level one, uh, very easy. The reason for that is um, there's one trick that it does that makes it a little bit difficult, but once you're past that, it's simple. So first things first, you PEID. Okay, nothing out of the normal there. And I noticed something when I right, right clicked it that it says extract files here through um, WinRAR. So if we open it with WinRAR, we see, oh, autoplay, auto run, and an icon. That asterisk means it's encrypted, so if we try to extract it, it's going to ask for a password. We obviously don't have the password, so we're going to have to get to it a different way. So let's go to the properties of this, and we see archive. It's a self-extracting zip archive, passwords are present. So if we open this in Ollie, we see that it comes up to the OAP, original entry point, and if we run it, it pops up. Now, if we do control alt delete or control shift escape to pull up task manager, we'll see a couple things. We see a crack me here. If we go to process, it's auto run, but we see crack me too easy right here. So it had to extract itself somehow and then call it. And once we're in here, it just pretty basic. So let's exit that and restart this and let's search for names. These are commands that are called. So to start a process, we could use something like create process. So let's see if there's any references. Okay, there's one reference. Let's put a breakpoint on it and hit run. It breaks and if we look in the stack, we see a path, C users, FJLJ app data, local temp, IR, EXT, temp7, auto run.exe. So it's about to run that. I don't want it to, so I'm going to go to that folder. Oops, there we go. Temp. And here we see our files. So something interesting about this is if we run this, we can close Ollie and it'll still be running because it's outside of the progress, outside of the program that we had um, running in Ollie. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this now because I want to run directly from here. And first let's do PEID again. Ah, PE compact, so it's packed. So we aren't going to be able to rely on the disassembly from Ollie per se. So let's open it in Ollie and see what happens. So it's going to load up everything and then it's going to analyze it and it's going to look like a bunch of junk. Yep, a bunch of junk. And if we run it, it goes on, overwrites everything, writes a new program. So now if we analyze, we're going to see same bunch of junk and it's analyzing still and there we go so we see some stuff get key state send message key state but let's see what kind of calls we have names nothing very important really okay so let's put in a name FJLJ and a serial one two three four blah, blah, blah. register. Try again FJLJ. It's too easy. Crack me. Okay. So let's see if we can find where in memory our name is being stored. To do that, you could hit M right here or the hotkey Alt M to pull up the memory map. Now, I'm going to click this top one here and do Control B, or I could right click and do Search. Same thing. Now, I'm going to search for FJLJ. Search. 
Okay, that's not it, that's the path. Control L, find next. Still the path, path. Nothing, nothing, nope, 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 nope. Username equals FJLJ user profile. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Okay, so this little here means we aren't finding any more in this. So we can close it and hit Control L. And it's gonna search until it finds it again. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so since my computer name is FJLJ, or my computer username is FJLJ, let's try a different string. So let's put in Bob1234 and hit register. Okay, so Alt-M, Control-B, Bob1234. And then we see, try again, Bob, it's too easy. So that's the bad message after it's being read to memory before it's called. And if we do control L, we'll find some more of them. So let's keep doing that. Ah, now we see something interesting here. We see Bob1234 is paragraph equal to, paragraph one, paragraph two on click, paragraph two on click. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit, see what we find. Nothing going down, let's scroll up. Nothing too fancy, but we're getting something because we see this on click, paragraph two stuff. So let's control L, nothing, control L again. And now we see our name and we scroll up a little bit. We're seeing some messages reading paragraph two, paragraph two, scrolling up a little ways, just looking around here. And keep seeing things that are interesting, and now we're not. So let's scroll back down and look below our name, see what's going on down here. Okay, x equals input, get text input one equals downloading. Try again, guys, paragraph two. Y equals input, get text input two kilobytes. Oh, okay, what's this? If y equal equal www.crackmes.de, then e megabytes equals this. Otherwise, e megabytes. Okay, so what that tells me is it's comparing our second input to the string www.crackmeans.de. And if it's bad, we get the bad message. So let's try that out. Bob1234, let's delete this and do www.crackmeans.de. And hit register. Good job, Bob. That's all there is to this crack me. It's really simple. This is a pretty bad video. Um, just because there's not really a whole lot of content here, it's like, you dig around, you read around the memory until you see something useful. Sometimes this is overlooked because you're looking for something deeper. The point of this video is to establish this sort of routine to check the easy stuff first because sometimes it is just that easy. It's really easy to start trying to reverse something and make it more complicated than it is and spend more time looking for something complex that's not even there. So instead, we look at the very basic end of things. Okay, we didn't see any names that were useful. Okay, let's see if we can find our name in memory because obviously it's storing it for the message. Obviously it's storing it to compare it. So obviously we have to be able to find it somewhere. And then just reading around, we see a string that happens to tell us exactly how the program works. You could call it luck, you could call it just stupid, you could call it whatever you want. 
this crack me is designed uh, with one major um, security and that was it being wrapped in a self extractor making it hard to find the code because if you can find the code you can find the key that's all there is to it our next crack me that we're gonna look at is gonna be a lot better I promise you um, it's still simple but we're gonna actually have to read code not just memory values and we're actually gonna have to look and calculate algorithms and then we're gonna make probably two maybe three videos on writing a key gen for it in different ways um, probably three different ways but yeah that's all to come and that video I promise will be a lot better but this is kind of like a freebie I put one out yesterday today this one's just you know a little eh. uh, it, this was sent to me from a user so I figured all right we'll do it for him and he'll get to see his little crack me up on the YouTubes here but again Always rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, by the way, thanks for watching.